This is Dalton and Chad at Coyote Classics, and today we're behind the wheel of an extremely nice 1973 Q Code Mach 1. When we first seen this car, we just kind of fell in love with the quality of it. It's You don't see many really nice 73s, and this is. I mean, it's just a fantastic car. And once we get back from driving it, we'll look under the hood and, and go all around it, but just the attention to detail that went into the restoration, um, and then the options. You know, it's got, got cold air, tilt wheel, power windows, it's kind of got it all. It's got the rim blown steering wheel, that works. Oil pressure's on the high side. Temperature gauge, we haven't warmed it up enough quite yet. Right, and it's just a five minute read. AM, FM radio works. Clock Fa works. Yeah, factory air. That works nice. Um, dome light works, headliners, immaculate. Just a nice car. Gas gauge works good. The only thing that's not working right now, Dalton, is that it does have a rear defrost as well. It's kind of neat, and that light comes on, so I'm guessing that's working. The only thing that's not working right now is a factory tack, so we need to kind of check into that and see what's going on. But that's a beautiful car. And of course, the Q code's yeah. got the higher horsepower 351. Yeah, all the rear mirror stuff's under the hood. Yeah, beautiful floors, nice sound and exhaust. I mean, really the list goes on and on. Great Mach 1 here. Yeah, I don't know, you can't really see it when we're sitting on it, but when we get out, you can see the seats. I love the seat pattern and just the whole color scheme of the car. Um, done very correctly. Yeah, high dollar restoration on this one. Transmission's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it's just great. Speedometer works good as well. The brakes are awesome. Really nice Mach 1. This 1973 Mach 1 right here is an absolute show winner. Factory Q code, 351 Cobra Jet car that's underwent a meticulous restoration. Meticulous restoration, great sound and dual exhaust. Loaded with options such as uh, air, power windows, got the deluxe interior, uh, of course Ram Air, 351 Cobra Jet. Power steering, power brakes, tilt wheel, rim load steering wheel. Just had to turn a little further, didn't I? Under the hood, look at that. This car, though, is, is stunning. Wow. Let's be at idle for a second, then we'll turn it off talk about it. All the correct factory markings. You got all your stickers all over on the um, valve covers and the firewall, the right air breather, all your setup for the Ram airs there, um, factory air. Isn't that nice? It's so nice. So it made us fall in love with this thing. I mean, the attention to detail on it was outstanding. In the floors, um, go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. The floor pans on this thing are awesome. Yeah, they are. Very impressive. So, we done under here? I kind of just like looking at it under there. That's it's nice, impressive. isn't it? Very impressive. I take this thing to a show, pop the hood. And... Yeah, you pop the hood at a show. It's That's what makes this car, I think. Um, the front, uh, this one's got the enduro bumper. I've been driving a little bit. I thought there was a chip, but it's not. The grill's beautiful. And these are huge hoods. So as we go from, from this all the way to the back, the back line's up great back there. Same thing on this side too, your fender door, top of the hood, all line up just excellent. Windshield looks like that was replaced. Top of the dash pad is beautiful as well. It's nice, 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 nice. Um, it's got the little cutouts in the exhaust as well. Um, back bumper looks good. Tail lights are nice. Trunk looks like that all fits good as well. I'm gonna pop the trunk for you too. Yeah, go ahead. Rear slats, rear nice. spoiler. Door buzzer works. 
Um, bottom of the door matches up nice to the quarter panel. Lower fenders all look good. The black looks nice on that. Um, it's got the uh, dual sport mirrors. Handles look good. love the red and black mock interior. Man, isn't that nice? It's got the rim blown wheel and it does have the tilt wheel as well. And the fold down rear seat. Oh, it does, doesn't it? I yep. didn't notice that. Yeah, it's got about everything. Power windows. Well, we talked about a lot of that on our test drive, but just a really nice car. Door panel's great. Corner of the door looks nice. It's got the right rubbers and stoppers on that as well. In the trunk too, I found that pretty neat. Yeah. It's got the original fixed flat bottle. With the Just look at the <laughs> look at the paint and stuff on the the rear door down in here, and then the inner quarters. That's very nice. Got the mini the mini spare in it. There's a little paint, there's a little paint chip right here. Fortunately. I mean, even though this is, you know, you said, hey, it's a show quality car, and it is, mm -hmm. but there, nothing's perfect as soon as you drive it. Not a single one of them. No. No, they're not. You know, and when paint cures out, no matter what it is, they're not, they're just not perfect. This is damn nice, though. Um, bottom of the quarter over top of the wheel well is awesome. It's got one tiny little paint run, it looks like. Probably could be wet sand above, but right there. Bottom of the fenders, doors, up and down here in the uh, gaps. Front fender gaps, awesome. Behind the rear door is great as well. Even the boot that holds all the wiring for the power windows and stuff like that. It's in great shape. It does have front disc. It looks like it's upgraded front disc uh, uh, rotors too, drilled okay. and slotted. Good. Um, it's got 28,085 miles in the odometer. The dash light works here. Um, the wood grain is beautiful. The only thing that doesn't work right now is the tachometer. Guys, make sure you check out the floor pictures on this 1973 Mach. Very well documented, high, uh, highly optioned car. Uh, floors, frame rails, trunk, everything's gorgeous underneath. So check it out on our website, coyoteclassics.com, and give us a call.